was completely unexpected, like a piano in your bathtub, or Finland. <laughs> but sometimes the world is just so goddamn beautiful that it's completely unavoidable. And for that, I am thankful. And then it's full of thanks, because I often take a looking at the world through the eyes of someone who feels guilty for a living. And I don't know how it happens, all this self-loathing, it can sneak up on you like a bad haircut. And before you know it, your past is a hot brunette tanning itself in the backyard of your cortex and you can't take your eyes off of it. And then suddenly, your heart is playing sheriff to a ghost town. Or maybe I was just feeling surly. Because it was 2005 and I had yet to have sex in the 21st century. with an Irish theme, a rare thing in Vancouver. <laughs> so I sat down and I noticed there was a basketball game on every TV in the room. And I had come in hoping to catch some baseball on the big screen, not a bunch of giraffes in short pants galloping on hardwood. But somehow the night was filled with poetry. And I'm happy to say that I'm happy I stayed because it was a playoff matchup featuring a Canadian who had just won the league's most valuable player. Plus, the game itself was amazing. Back and forth, up and down, double overtime, with the players feeling the pressure of the situation. They were tripping over themselves, missing shots, losing their tempers, and then recovering from that failure to make a last-second three-pointer. It was perfectly perfect, beautifully human, and filled with the poetry of the moment. Plow got up on stage. 
stage and he started to sing a song for the servers about being hit on by drunk patrons. It was called, I Don't Wanna Fuck You As Bad As You Wanna Fuck Me. <laughs> and so I shut up, pounded back my drinks and waited for the next band. They shoot horses, don't they? Who sounded pretty good with several double Roman folks swimming around inside of my gullet. But I couldn't stop thinking about the Eiffel Tower and using Satan's bringing me the drink and how I wanted to learn real with her elbows. with me and allow myself to be 